The story of Sony's 2025 camera lineup is shaping up to be a complex, but fascinating one. On one hand, we have long-awaited new cameras finally coming into focus, including what could be the highly anticipated Sony A7 V. On the other hand, price increases across the board are shaking up the market, leaving many photographers and videographers wondering if upgrading now is even worth it. This tale of innovation mixed with inflation is the defining theme of Sony's fall season. We're talking about new sensors, updated hybrid-focused bodies, improved video tools, but also tariffs, cost hikes, and shrinking affordability. So, if you're thinking about buying into Sony mirrorless gear or upgrading from your existing setup, this deep dive will help you understand what's happening, why it's happening, and whether the A7 V is the right move for your photography or videography needs. Sony's 2025 price hikes, what's going on? One of the hardest realities for camera enthusiasts in 2025 has been the constant price hikes. This isn't just a Sony. Problem tariffs and global supply chain challenges have impacted nearly every major manufacturer, but Sony's increases stand out because of how broad and consistent they've been. In fact, this year alone, Sony has implemented three separate price hikes, the first came in May 2025, with some products jumping by as much as 30% at retail. The second arrived in July, where certain models saw increases of around 7%. And just when buyers thought it was over, September 2025 brought a fresh round, this time pushing some gear up by another 22%. These increases haven't been spread evenly. Some models have been hit much harder than others, particularly high-demand full-frame cameras and flagship lenses, cameras feeling the squeeze of Sony A7CR. The compact, travel-focused full-frame option has seen some of the sharpest increases. For budget-conscious creators, this is a real sting. Since this model was meant to be the portable hybrid for vloggers and travel photographers, Sony A7RV, Known for its high-resolution sensor and appeal to professionals, this model has jumped by nearly $400, making it a much tougher purchase for even serious enthusiasts. Sony A9 III, Sony's sports and action-focused powerhouse also went up by $400, a direct result of tariff-related costs. Sony Vlog Series, even the entry-level vlog cameras, once thought to be immune, aren't safe. They've gone up around $50, which may sound small, but is a huge deal for younger creators or those just getting into content creation on a tight budget. Lenses are not spread. The pain isn't just limited to camera bodies. Sony lenses, especially the popular, practical ones, are also climbing in price. Sony 20 to 135 mm f/4, a go-to versatile lens for travel shooters, documentary filmmakers and hybrid creators, has been hit with one of the steepest increases. Sony 400-800mm f, 6.3-8 to a newer telephoto lens designed for wildlife and sports shooters, also saw noticeable hikes, making it harder for niche photographers to afford specialized glass for many creators. This combination of body and lens increases makes third-party brands more appealing than ever. Companies like Tamron, Sigma, Lawa, and seven artisans are stepping in to fill the gap, offering competitive performance at lower prices. This may shift market behavior in the short term, with Sony loyalists turning to alternative ecosystems for affordability. Tariffs and the timeline of price increases. It's important to understand that these increases aren't random, they're closely tied to U.S. tariffs on imported electronics. After continued announcements from political leaders about maintaining tariffs, Sony had little choice but to adjust prices repeatedly. By August 7, 2025, the average increase was reported at 10 to 19 percent. By September 2025, it had grown to 20 to percent in some cases. While Sony hasn't made detailed public comments, insiders suggest that the company is monitoring tariffs month by month and adjusting accordingly. For buyers, this means there's no clear end date in sight. Anyone waiting for prices to go back down may be waiting a very long time. Enter the Sony A7 V. 
The next big full-frame mirrorless camera now. Let's get to the camera everyone has been buzzing about. The Sony a7 V. Rumors of this model have circulated for years. But in 2025 it finally looks like it's moving from speculation to reality. According to multiple reliable sources, Sony is preparing to launch the A7 V in October or November 2025. This timing lines up with Sony's history of major fall announcements, often aimed at professionals gearing up for the busy holiday season. Why the delay? The A7 V was reportedly scheduled for an earlier release, but was delayed for two key reasons. Tariff uncertainty. Sony didn't want to announce a new camera during peak pricing volatility. High demand for existing models. Popular cameras like the A7 IV, A7RV, and A93 were still selling strong, and Sony wanted to avoid production bottlenecks. What we know about the Sony A7 V sensor only of the biggest questions has been What kind of sensor will the A7 V use? The A7 IV used a 3.3 MP full frame sensor which was widely praised for balancing resolution and speed. The A7 V is expected to stick to round 3.3 MP, but with an upgraded architecture. Evolution Not Revolution Insiders describe the sensor as an evolution rather than a revolution. That means, likely still 3.3 MP, but with a partially stacked design to improve readout speeds, faster burst shooting possibly beyond 10 FPS, improved for K6 OP recording, potentially with no crop dot better color depth and dynamic range. For both stills and video dot this would position the A7 V as a true hybrid camera, machine designed for both serious photographers and advanced videographers who want speed, flexibility, and reliability. Body design and ergonomics lake images suggest that the Sony A7V's body will look very similar to the A7 IV, with some refinements, a fully articulating LCD screen, perfect for vloggers and hybrid shooters, a familiar control wheel and button layout, keeping the learning curve shallow for A7 for users, a grip that remains closer to the A7 for than the A1, maintaining portability, Rumors of a slightly larger EVF for better usability. Possible improvements to the menu system and touchscreen interface. Addressing one of Sony's most consistent criticisms, video improvements, and a hybrid creator Sony knows that video is driving much of the market today. Content creators, YouTubers, and hybrid professionals demand better codecs higher frame rates, and stronger The A7 V is rumored to deliver 4K 60fps uncropped, with oversampling for crisp detail, potential for higher frame rates, though not yet confirmed, stronger video autofocus tracking, including improved IAF and subject detection. Better in-body image stabilization for smoother handheld footage. This can make the A7 V not just a stills upgrade, but a serious video workhorse, directly competing with hybrid models from Canon and Nikon. Pricing? How much will the A7 V cost? This is where things get tricky, with tariffs and inflation. The A7 V is expected to debut at a significantly higher price than the A7 IV. Expected retail price? Round $3,000 possible launch kits with 24 to 70 mm f 4 or 28 to 70 mm f 3.5 to 5.6 kit lenses dot at this price the a7 5 firmly enters the enthusiast 2 pro segment leaving entry-level full-frame territory to other brands like nikon c5 c62 or canon's es r8 dot who is the sony a7 5 for the a7 5 looks like it's built for hybrid shooters who want one camera for both stills and video dot wedding and event photographers needing reliability and strong low light performance dot travel and documentary filmmakers who prioritize portability without sacrificing pro features dot youtubers and content creators who want professional video specs without moving into Sony's cinema line. If you're on the A7 for and looking for more speed, better video tools, and refined ergonomics, the A7 V might be worth the upgrade. But if you're already shooting with the A7 RV or A9 III, you may not see as dramatic a leap. Market impact. 
How Sony Positions The A75 The launch of the A75 highlights Sony's strategy of pushing the A7 series further up market. What was once the entry-level full-frame lineup is now a premium hybrid line, while cheaper models are left to a PSC or older discounted full-frame bodies. This positions Sony against Canon ES R6 Mark III a hybrid powerhouse in the $2,500-$3,000 range. Nikon Z6 III, with its partially stacked 24, 5MP sensor, strong hybrid features, and aggressive pricing, Panasonic S5-2X, a strong video competitor with phase detect AF dot by balancing speed, resolution, and video performance. Sony is aiming to make the A7 V the most well-rounded hybrid camera in its class.